Here are some Java IDE improvements of Eclipse 2024-06, including general improvements and improvements for web development. Improvements that have been added since the last release in March 2024, three months ago. Eclipse 2024-06 is shipped with Java 21, the latest Java version for which long-term support is provided. Internally, Eclipse now requires Java 21 or higher to run, but independent of that, you can still use older versions of Java, such as Java 8 or even much older versions in your projects. Java 22 support is now built in. When you create a new Java project, you can choose which JRE to use from a list of all Java versions that now goes up to Java 22. Hang on, 23? Java 23 is mistakenly included here. It will be released in September and is not yet supported. The latest supported version in this Eclipse release is actually Java 22. When choosing Java 22, make sure that the Java 22 JDK is installed and configured in the Preferences, Java, Install JREs. Java 22 provides, next to preview features, one final Java language feature, unnamed variables and patterns. An unnamed variable or pattern is an underscore that can be used in one of the following four places. As a lambda parameter that is not used, in a try catch for an exception parameter not used in the catch block, as an unnamed pattern parameter, as in this example, to match an unused record parameter, or as an unused local variable, for example, in a for each loop. In contrast, an underscore cannot be used as a method parameter, at least not yet in Java 22. Apart from Java 22 support, there are a couple of new or improved quick assists, quick fixes, and refactor functions that can be used in other Java versions too. You can split a try with multiple resources into nested try with resources using a new quick assist as follows. Place the cursor on the resource that you want to be the first resource of the nested try with resources. Hit Ctrl 1 and choose the new quick assist split try resource expressions into inner try with resources. Voila! The try with resources has been split into two nested try with resources statements. Another new quick assist is extract anonymous class declaration to local, which is provided inside anonymous classes to extract the anonymous class into a local variable. The quick assist use message format for string concatenation and use string format for string concatenation have been improved for multi-line concatenations to use a text block in Java 15 or higher. The encapsulate field refactor function for a single field has been extended to encapsulate fields so that it can be used also for multiple fields. That's nice, isn't it? And by the way, the menu that is displayed when you while holding down control, hover a class, record or enum type, now provides open call hierarchy to get the call hierarchy for the constructors of the hover type. The remove overridden assignment cleanup has been approved as well. When enabled in the unnecessary code tab, the Remove Overridden Assignment cleanup also joins a variable declaration that is immediately followed by an assignment. And in the Java doc hovers, the type parameters are now colored separately and formatted more nicely, aren't they? The coloring and formatting can be disabled together, or the coloring configured via the new button on the bottom right of the hover. The same applies also to the Java doc view, where the button is at the top right in the View toolbar. 
Apart from these Java-specific improvements, there are general platform improvements as well. The Eclipse Java IDE now offers built-in syntax highlighting for more than 60 languages and formats, thanks to the text-made language pack. Out-of-the-box syntax highlighting for Windows batch files, for Docker files, for languages such as Go and Groovy, which also covers Jenkins files, and for a lot more. And all these syntax highlightings from the text-made language pack are also applied in the compare editor, which makes differences easier to read, doesn't it? Support for the latest web technologies is built into the Eclipse IDE for enterprise Java and web developers, or can be obtained in other IDE packages by installing Eclipse Wild Web Developer as done here. TypeScript is now supported up to version 5.4, which for instance introduces the new noinfer utility type, preventing type arguments being inferred from them. Both the JavaScript and TypeScript tooling have been improved, with a new check for super property accesses on instance fields, No more error here for something that cannot happen. And the new add missing parameters and add optional parameters quick fixes. And by the way, in the preferences, general, editors, text editors, generic text editors, the auto-activation of the content assist can be disabled for JavaScript, TypeScript and for other languages that are featured by the generic text editor. These were some of the Java IDE improvements of the quarterly rolling release June 2024. Thanks for watching and happy coding!